Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is on five ways to improve your photography. These tips are universal. They cross any genre of photography and they cross all brands. So tip number one is challenge yourself to post an image every day. This does a whole bunch of different things for you. One, it builds a portfolio. You can see how you progress over time this way. You'll get out every day to shoot. You'll shoot more often so you'll learn your camera functions and things will be easier for you. You'll be better at critically assessing your images so that you choose the best one each day. There's just a whole bunch of things that happen every time that you consistently shoot and consistently practice with your camera and being creative and being outdoors. So post an image every day grow your skill level, grow your creativity, and grow your technical ability to do that. I think this is the number one thing that will help you improve your photography, whether that's bird photography or any other genre of photography. Tip number two here is only keep your best images. So when you're culling your images, don't cull your images by just getting rid of the bad ones, the overexposed ones, the bad composition, the blurry ones. Go through your images with a different mindset. Go through with the mindset of you're only gonna keep the very, very best images. So. Go through the images, pick out the 10 best ones or, or how many good ones you have. Pick the very best ones, keep those, delete the rest of them. So you're not keeping mediocre images, you're not keeping just plain good images, you're only keeping the great images, the award winning shots. And by thinking differently and looking for the really best ones, your photography will improve because you're thinking about the qualities that make a good image. Tip number three is learn something new every day. And this might mean that you need to shoot in manual mode and get off aperture priority or shutter priority. It might be that you need to learn how lower shutter speeds blur the wings and make an artistic photo. It might mean that you need to vary the depth of field with aperture so that you get a blurred background or a detailed background. Learn something new every day could also mean pay attention to other forms or genres of photography. What do the wedding photographers do? How do fashion photographers use light? Is there anything about street photography that we can apply to bird photography? I learned how to use fill flash and a color temperature orange CTO gels from fashion photographers. By watching their videos and seeing how they shot, I learned something that I could use in my bird photography. So learn something new every day, pay attention to what other people are doing in photography, pay attention to other genres of photography, innovate by applying things from other fields into your bird photography and you can create images that look different than everybody else's. Tip number four is about being intentional. Think, plan, and create your image. Visualize how you want the image to look in the end and then work backwards and figure out what you need to do so that you can create that image. Be at the location at the right time of day for the quality and the angle of the sunlight. Make sure you're there during migration of the birds so that you have more opportunities to photograph each bird. By being intentional with your images, you'll get one or two really good images and you won't get a whole bunch of mediocre images. So strive to be intentional, create one really, really good image, and this goes along with posting one good image a day, right? Tip number five is about quality over quantity. I've said this, you've heard this said. Somebody will say, wow, I shot 5,000 images today. But really, who cares if they shot 5,000 images? How many good ones did they get? I want to be really proud of taking one or two really good images every day. Images that I can be proud of, that might win an award, that I can print and hang on my wall. Those are the images that I want to create every day. And so that means being intentional. It means making high quality images. And if I can do that, I will be successful. Ansel Adams said, 12 images in a year was a good crop. I want to create thought-provoking, emotionally moving images that show people that how special birds are. I want to do quality over quantity. To learn more, check out my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and as a trade paperback. You can also get a copy on my website, timboyerphotography.com. You can also go to my website where I list workshops that I do throughout the Western United States. By attending one of my workshops, you'll learn how to set up your camera, you'll learn about birds, you'll learn how to get great bird photos. You can support the channel by checking out the affiliate links that are below in the description. These are not sponsors, these are links to products that I use every day. Hey, if you like what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like, a subscribe, or share this with your friends. I just finished filming the five ways to improve your bird photography, but it's how I'm thinking about photography these days and how I'm trying to improve my own photography. Let me know if you think these are helpful and if you're gonna try any of them too, that would be great. Thanks a lot and I will see you next week. Bye.